channel and today's makeup tutorial is going to be on this look right here. Um, I love how this turned out. It's really nice and minimal. I wanted something soft on the eyes but a bold lip and I feel like you can wear this during the day and it's nice and subtle, nothing too dramatic and I love the hair as well. So this makeup look was uh, created using All Essence products. Um, it's part of their Love Your Shade campaign. So everything on my face is Essence except the earrings. They're on my ears. But yeah, everything else is, is um, Essence. So I really like how this turned out. Um, yeah, so if you want to see how I created this makeup, then just keep on watching. Hey gorgeous people. So we're going to start out by pushing our hair out of our faces because we don't want to put any makeup in the hair. And then I'm going to start out by moisturizing my lips with this Essence Kiss Care Lip Balm. And it's I think it's in Fruity something. I'm not too sure. All the information will be listed down below for all the Essence products that I use. Uh, I'm now going in with my, the Essence My Skin Mattifying Cream. And I actually love this stuff. It really does mattify your, your skin and keeps it oil free through the day. I like to use it even when I don't put any makeup on. So I'm just using that as a moisturizer. And now I'm going to change my shirt because it's white and I don't want to get any makeup on it. So I'm wearing this gray one. Now I'm taking this I Love Stage eyeshadow base from Essence and I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. This eyeshadow base is quite watery the consistency is quite watery and I usually apply something really thick so I was really excited to try this and now I'm just setting it with a compact powder from Essence this is in caramel I think all the information will be listed down below as per usual um, but yeah I'm just blending out that eyeshadow base before I apply the powder just in case it's settled into any of my creases and now I'm going in with this um, compact powder into the crease this is in true caramel and I'm just using this as a crease color just to kind of deepen the crease slightly now I'm taking this contour color from the happy girls are pretty um, contour kit and I'm applying that into the crease as well Now I'm taking this single eyeshadow by Essence as well. This is called Coco Chic. It's just a nice deep um, bronzy brown. And I'm just applying that to the crease. It's not completely matte. It has a little bit of shimmer. But nothing too hectic. Now I'm taking the True Caramel Compact Powder by Essence. And I'm just going to put that into the crease just to kind of um, help blend out that Coco Chic. Make sure everything is well blended and smooth transitioning. Going into this Roses palette, I first take that grayish brown eyeshadow color. And then I wanted something a little deeper, so I went for that Lost powder. It's quite cool toned, but it has the slightest bit of warmth in it. I'm just going to use that in the crease because I wanted the crease to look a little bit more hollow than what it did. And now I'm taking the Metal Glam highlighter and applying this all over the lid with my finger. We're just blending this into the crease to ensure that there was no transfer of the glitter. Now I'm taking this Essence pigment and I'm taking the smallest amount. I didn't even dip my brush into the container. I dip, I swirled it around the lid because I didn't want it too metallic or too pigmented. I wanted a nice transition from the gold into like a copper. This Essence pigment is called Cop and Copper. Now I'm going back into the Metal Glam highlighter and I'm just um, kind of giving it a smooth transition from the gold into the copper by layering them together in the middle. Then I'm taking this Jip Eyeliner by Essence. I think it's one of the new eyeliners and it has an ultra soft tip. It's kind of like a 
a q-tip but it's it, it's really thin in the beginning and then it gets kind of bigger it's a really nice applicator i actually really like it because it makes applying eyeliner so much easier i will however say that um if you don't want it to kind of go everywhere and mess up the precision and the precise line that you have you do want to kind of fan it and let it dry before you open and close your eyelid because it did transfer onto the eyeshadow now i'm taking the new um essence makeup setting spray and i'm just going to spritz that before my makeup kind of to um have something that the makeup can grip onto the entire day so it's kind of doing the same job as at the end where you fix your makeup and set it for the whole day and the foundation i'm using today is the all about matte oil free 20 20 12 hour um foundation and i really like it even though it's a little orange in the video we fix it up with the cover stick that i'm going to use next it's the cover stick concealer and I'm just going to apply that underneath my eyes, my forehead, my the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin. Just to kind of brighten the foundation as it was a little too orange. And we apply it underneath where we contour just to kind of brighten that area to make the contour more prominent and it kind of also helps give a natural contour so just lightening that part underneath where you contour kind of brings out your natural contour and i'm setting my under eye with the compact powder from essence this is the colors will all be listed down below And this text message must have made me really happy and I can't even remember what it was about. And I'm just bend, bending, no I'm not bending anything. I'm blending out the, the concealer with the same brush that I use for my foundation. Just to make everything mesh together. And I'm going to set everywhere with the same compact powder that I use under my eyes. Taking the Essence um, Mousse Foundation, it's called the Soft Touch Mousse Makeup, and this is in uh, matte mahogany, and I'm just going to use that to contour. It's pretty pigmented, so I didn't even dip my brush in it that much, and there was a lot of product on my brush. It's quite pigmented, and I really like the cream contour vibes these days, so I'm just setting the contour with my compact powder in True Mahogany. You'll also notice in the video that I circulate around the same products just to kind of show that you don't need to have all these different kind of compacts and different kind of products. You can use the same brand, you can use the same powder that you use for your face in your crease. That's the nice thing about makeup. Now I'm taking this matte soft touch blush by Essence and this one is in the color Bury Me Up. And I'm not going to fast forward through this clip just so that you can get an idea of where I apply my blush. It is right on the apples of the cheeks moving in an upwards motion. The upwards motion kind of helps to pull our face back making us look, look um, slimmer than we actually are. And just like the contour it kind of just shapes the face and sculpts it. And we just um, brush it backwards kind of to the hairline. And this kind of helps to lift the face a little. Now I'm taking this uh, gel pomade by Essence. This is one of their new products and this is just for the brows. <sighs> this brow product is definitely not a favorite of mine. Um, I think it was maybe because of my skin tone. But the pomade just was not looking how I usually like my brows um it was quite gray toned and it kind of got, like took a while to actually get it to the um darkness that I wanted but in order to get the color that I wanted I had to go over it with the brow me by essence and it's just a, a brown brow tint 
that you can purchase and it kind of makes your brow, uh, brows a little bit browner. And then I set them with this gel mascara for the brows. And this is going to help them to last all day. And then I'm taking the cover stick again on an angle brush. And I'm just going to sculpt up my brushes. My brushes? No. I'm going to sculpt up my brows and um, clean them up a little. And now for the star of the show, I'm going to take my fan brush and spritz some of the f makeup fixing spray on the fan brush. And take this highlight that I use on my eyelid. It's called Gold Digger from the Metal Glam Collection. And I'm pretty sure you can see this highlight from space. I mean, look how intense that is. Um, obviously, if that's not your cup of tea, you're not going to really like it much. But I absolutely loved it. And... It was so bright, everyone noticed the highlight that day. So this is my new favorite thing, but obviously I'm going to go over it with my beauty blender like I always do, just to kind of make it sink into the skin and make it look a little bit more natural. We're also going to apply that to the inner corners to kind of brighten it a little. And then um, on our lower lash line, we're going to apply the True Brown, which is the same powder we use to set our face. This is just to give the lower lash line something, just so that they're not nude. And then I go in with the contour shade from the contour kit. Um, this is just to deepen it up slightly. Now we're going to take the Forbidden Volume Mascara. There's this red one and then there's a grey one as well. Um, the red one is quite chunky and big. And the grey one is a little slimmer but still um, thick bristles. Um, and we're going to use the red one on our top lashes and the grey one on the lower lashes. And then we're going to wipe off any of the a lip balm that we applied in the beginning just so that it doesn't mess with the formula of the lipstick and then I'm taking this lip lip liner from Essence and this is in the shade Berry on my mind and I'm just gonna line my lips as well as fill them in with this color and then over top of this color we're gonna go in with the velvet matte Triple XL Long Lasting Lip Gloss, and this is an hot brownie. This color alone is actually really stunning, but I actually preferred the lip liner over the pair of them together. So, um, just to set my face, I'm gonna apply the fixing spray from Essence, and then I change back into my white shirt because I definitely like it better than the gray one, and then I change my lip to the lip liner only and because I forgot to fill in the um, waterline I'm just applying the Essence Big Eyes um, eyeliner in the waterline. This is just to give them a more doe eyed effect. It makes them really nice and big and bright. And that is the end of the makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys like it. If you did please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and check me out on all my social media especially Snapchat and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!